Hey y'all, Craig Wall, Georgia Trapping and Fishing. Today I thought I'd show you my hides that I got back from Oil Mink and Tannery. And uh, I'm gonna do a little uh, mail call. So y'all stick around, we'll take a look. Okay, first thing I got, got my beavers back. You can tell they did a really fine job on these. They're really furred out. They do an unbelievable job on these hides. There's no way I can get them like this. They're just soft and silky. Really nice job. These are the ones I caught this last fall. And uh, I just got, I got them back about three weeks ago. I just haven't had time to, to get, them, get them out and show y'all, but they all turned out really good. If you're ever going to do any hides, more mink and tanneries are where, the way to go because you're not going to get any, any better quality than this. I mean, they're, they're all really nicely done. These are all about the same color beavers, really. I got them when it was really cold, so the, they were really furred out real good. So, caught some this year in the summer, and of course they're not as good a, good a fur. But, this was my coyote they did. They did a nice job with him. And there again, all the leathers really nice the few little places where i would nicked him when i was skinning them out and this is my otter he was really pretty had a really good fur on him too light brown color i was telling dan davis from judith and dan davis I think this one right here is kind of in between the colors that all that he caught last year. He caught some real dark ones and he caught some real pale ones. I think this one's kind of in the middle. So I was real, real happy to get this one last year. But I just think it did a really good job. If y'all need any furs done, that's where I'd send them, more mink and tannery. All right, well, that's my furs and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get to the mail call. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all can still see me because the sun's starting to go down. But I got three different mail calls today. First one is for Mr. from Mr. Tommy. Get this over. From over at Open Air Fish Market. He sent me two two of his stickers very cool stickers i've been wanting some of mr tommy's stickers he sent me one of his this is his older one and this is his newer one but mr tommy these are going straight up on my on my board i really appreciate that mr tommy if any of y'all don't know him i'm sure all my fatwood guys know him but my trapping guys might not you won't find a better patriot than mr tommy and uh He's a, a world-class craftsman. You ought to go over to his channel and see some of the, the woodworking he's done. He's really good. He's done a lot for a lot of people. So y'all go over and check out Mr. Tommy at Oatmare Fish Market. All right, the next one I got is from MB Heritage Farms. Mr. Michael and Bobby Jean. I was admiring their sunflower seeds on a few videos back and uh and they said they offered to send me some so they sent me some seeds off those pretty sunflowers they got and they told me it's 75 day maturity so i still i can still squeak it out i'm late getting them in the ground but we'll still have uh we'll still have 75 days of hot weather here where i'm at in georgia so i'm gonna get these in the ground tomorrow y'all and uh 
Bobby Jean sent this little, little, uh, I don't know if it's a poem or what, but I'm going to read it to you. If I were a flower, I would be a sunflower. To always follow the sun, turn my back to the darkness, stand proud, tall, and straight, even with my head full of seeds. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby Jean. That, that was very nice. I'm going to keep that, too. But y'all, I appreciate it. Y'all need to go over and check their channel out, MB Heritage Farms. Because them folks know how to grow some vegetables. Uh, everything they, they grow just looks green and lush. It all looks real good. I saw they're, they were pulling beets and potatoes up the last couple videos. The potatoes, they said they were worried about them rottening, but they looked really good. Looked better than half the stuff came out of my garden. So, But thank y'all a bunch. And this next one, all right, this says... Uh, International Beaver Shearing Association and it's got the little beaver on the back this one came all the way from Canada so let's see who this one's from I opened the outside but I didn't open the inside one uh, tubby guy outdoors my brother from the great white north let's check this out Oh yeah, Tubby Guy Outdoors sticker. That one's going up there, brother. You know it is. Tubby's one of my trapping buddies, super guy. Me and uh, I think me and Tubby's been on YouTube about the same amount of time, and we've kind of went side by side through through the last year or so. And he's got a great channel. He's a great trapper. Y'all need to go over and check out Tubby Guy Outdoors. Oh, you sent me a nice card. Thanks, White. So, y'all check out all three of these channels. Open Air Fish Market, m and Heritage Farms, and Tubby Guy Outdoors. I'm going to leave a link to all three of their uh, channels in my description page. But go over there and watch their videos. You'll like them, all of them. They all got great uh, channels. And uh, subscribe to the channel. They, they've always supported me real good and I appreciate it if y'all support them back because you know that's that's what it's all about community so everybody we I got people in so many different communities but everybody everybody uh, supports each other and it's great so I appreciate it y'all thank y'all for checking out my furs and uh, I'll see y'all on the next one